Hi everyone, I'm back home in St. Petersburg. This time you won't see Maria in the video as it's her turn now to go to a business trip. I'd like to remind you that most part of Aerolab team is traveling about to European cities with uh, workshops and meetups now. If you want to attend uh, some of these events or maybe just uh, meet with the team to discuss something, feel free and write to us to get uh, detailed and uh, up-to-date information. When I was in Canada, many people came up to me and asked uh, such questions uh, like uh, Robot economics? Uh, what is it? <laughs> Why are you doing this uh, cryptocurrency? Is it legal? Despite the conference was dedicated to robotics, uh, far from everyone uh, knows uh, the research field we are studying and of course very few of them are studying it themselves. That's why today I'd like to tell you how we came to the idea of robot economics. We couldn't help uh, reading the book of uh, Norbert Wiener, Cybernetics or Control and Communication in the Animal and the Machine. This book deserved our name as Aerolab deals with uh, building direct economical relations between uh, people and machines. Also, many scientists consider that this book is a basis of modern theory of complicated systems control. Norbert Wiener was a mathematician and a philosopher. He worked at Massachusetts Institute of Technology. At the beginning of the Second World War, he got a task to work out a new method of predicting enemy plane motion. He faced the problem that most scientists uh, focused on nothing but uh, their research field. If he asked them about something what was near their research field, they couldn't answer his questions and uh, said that it was out of their qualification. However, Norbert Wiener thought that such border zones of uh, different sciences offer great opportunities. And uh, that's why he gathered a couple of scientists and they started to study uh, such interdisciplinary sciences. Norbert Wiener and Artura Rosenblut, a physiologist, together were looking for objective laws of controlling system inside life forms and machines. Wiener saw a human-machine system in the following example. When a pilot got a signal that he was under fire, uh, he changed uh, the plane movements at once. But the pilot was limited uh, in the opportunities of uh, changing plane motion, as uh, the pilot was inside the plane, which was flying at a very high speed. Any kind of uh, sudden uh, changes in movements uh, could cause great pressure. As a result, uh, the pilot uh, could uh, go faint and uh, the plane uh, could uh, even fall apart. Working together with uh, Dr. Arturo Rosenblut and uh, engineer Julian Bigelow, Norbert Wiener managed to find a mathematical apparatus to this human-machine system that allowed to predict uh, enemy plane motion. As for today, there are many scientists studying robotics, but that's not enough. Uh, it's necessary to go further and uh, study a human-machine system like Wiener. Relations between people and machines. Thinking about all of these things, we came to the idea of robot economics. So I hope uh, it was interesting for you to watch this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you soon.